with two carbons, you get ethane, seen here. And with three carbons, you get propane. Hopefully you have all... Today we're delving into Unit 2.8 of the first half of General Chemistry, which introduces organic compounds. Organic compounds are classified as chemicals that contain carbon and hydrogen. These organic compounds far outnumber all other chemicals, and that is one reason why they have an entire branch of science called organic chemistry dedicated to them. The most simple compounds that contain only carbon and hydrogen are called hydrocarbons, and the simplest of these are called alkanes. In alkanes, each carbon has single bonds to four other atoms. In the example of methane, you can see this clearly as it is one carbon bonded to four hydrogens. With two carbons, you get ethane, seen here, and with th three carbons, you get propane. Hopefully you have all heard of these names before, and as you might notice, the ending A-N-E does not change with the increasing length of carbon, but the prefixes do. The ending does change when you convert one of the single bonds in the alkanes to a double bond. These molecules are called alkenes. Notice that the A in the ending is changed to an E, but everything else stays the same. If you convert the double bond in alkenes to a triple bond, you now have alkynes, and the E is changed to a Y, but everything else is the same in the name. Fortunately, these changes are alphabetical when going from one to three bonds, and that is a great way of remembering them A to E to Y. As a classification system, these alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes are different functional groups and thus have different properties from one another. Another common functional group are called alcohols. Alcohols are formed when you add oxygen to one of the carbons in the alkanes. Notice that the ending does not change and we add an OL to denote alcohols, which also have different properties than alkanes. For example, the boiling point of methane is negative 161.5 degrees Celsius or negative 258.7 degrees Fahrenheit, while the boiling point of methanol is 64.7 degrees Celsius or 148.5 degrees Fahrenheit, that's a difference of 226.2 degrees Celsius or 407.2 degrees Fahrenheit by just adding an oxygen. Based on what you learned, think about the following questions. What functional group does the following molecule belong to? What functional group does the following molecule belong to? What functional group or groups just have single bonded carbons and hydrogens? Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials. If the subject isn't up yet, please be patient. I'm working on bringing them up as soon as I can.